we have already learned about the verbs of incomplete predication and that they need the complement. So what is the complement? The complement completes the predicate so as to have a meaningful sentence. Sally named her pet kitten Lulu. Now what is the subject in this sentence? Sally named her pet kitten Lulu is the predicate. Now this predicate has the transitive verb named which takes the object her pet kitten. So if I would have just said Sally named her pet kitten, the sentence would not be a meaningful one as the predicate would not have been complete. So Lulu is the complement because it is completing the predicate. Now this complement renames or describes the object. So Sally named her pet kitten what? Lulu. So Lulu, which is the complement, is renaming or describing the object her pet kitten. So this complement is the object complement. Now very important point that you must remember is that object complements can only be found in sentences that have transitive verbs with one object. That means the direct object. They are never used with indirect objects. The police found the building empty. Now what is the subject in this sentence? The police found the building empty is the predicate. Now this predicate has the transitive verb found which takes an object. What is the object? The building. Now empty is making the sentence a meaningful sentence. Hence empty is the complement. Now this complement is telling us more about the object, the building. Hence this is an object complement. And this object complement we can see is an adjective. So we can say that an object complement can be an adjective also. The landowners force the farmers to work. What is the subject here? The landowners. So our predicate is force the farmers to work. Now this predicate has the transitive verb force which takes an object. What is the object? The farmers. So to work is the complement here which is telling us more about the object. The landowners force the farmers what? The landowners force the farmers to work. So to work is an object complement and we know that to work is an infinitive. So object complements can also be an infinitive. We consider the investment a futile one. What is the subject here? We. So the predicate is Consider the investment a futile one. Now this predicate has the transitive verb consider which takes an object. What is the object? The investment. So a futile one is a group of words which is completing the meaning of this sentence. What is it then? Then it is a complement. And this complement is telling us more about the object. We consider the investment what? A futile one. So this complement is an object complement and we can see that it is a group of words. So it is a phrase. So object complements can also be a phrase. So we have learnt about object complements in great detail. What are they? The complement of a transitive verb always gives additional information about the direct object. Hence, it is known as an object complement. Now let us read the two sentences given here. The boy seemed intelligent. The teacher considered the boy intelligent. Let us take the sentences one by one. So the first sentence, the boy seemed intelligent, has the subject, the boy, and what is the predicate? seemed intelligent. Now this predicate has the intransitive verb seemed 
which is followed by the complement intelligent. Now this complement is telling us more about the subject, the boy. So this complement is a subject complement. Now in the second sentence here, the teacher considered the boy intelligent. What is the subject? The teacher. So the predicate is considered the boy intelligent. Now this predicate has the transitive verb considered which takes an object. It takes a direct object. What is it? The boy. And it has a complement intelligent. Now this complement is telling us more about the direct object, the boy. The teacher considered the boy what? Intelligent. So intelligent here is an object complement. Now that we have learnt about object complements in detail, let us do this exercise. Identify the object complement. The students elected Kim the class president. What is the subject here? The students. So elected Kim the class president is the predicate. Now this predicate has the transitive verb elected which has a direct object Kim. So the students elected Kim what? The class president. So the class president is the complement here. And what is it telling us more about? It is telling us more about the object Kim. So the class president is the object complement. And we can see that it is a group of words. So it is a phrase. So today we have learnt about the object complement in great detail. We have learnt that the complement of a transitive verb always gives additional information about the direct object. Remember, they are never used with indirect objects. And so these complements are known as the object complements. Now object complement can be noun, an adjective, or an infinitive or a phrase. Now we have learnt about the subject complement and the object complement in great detail and I hope that you can easily distinguish them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.